Hello everybody and welcome to a new game here on the channel. Today we're starting Battle Brothers. Battle Brothers, the developers call a turn-based tactical game. I call it a sort of a hex strategy game similar to, uh, what's it called? Um, Heroes! Right! Similar to Heroes. Uh, differences with Heroes though, your dudes are all sort of heroes in a sense. They aren't stock units, they're individual people with names and backgrounds and you know, skills and perks and shit. Very similar to XCOM, in a way. Also similar to XCOM, they fucking die. Except they die way more often than in XCOM. Ugh, let's get into this with a new campaign. I did a bit of an initial um, campaign last night. I started playing and I played for three or four hours to get the feel for the game again. It's been a while since I've been in this game. Um, since before launch, that's for sure, before version 1.0 came out. So I, I, I just got reaccustomed to the controls and all that kind of shit. Played for a few hours. It went fantastic. I'm actually really pissed off that I didn't start recording that campaign and we're recording this one because we were doing just great. Our company is going to be called the Kingmakers, and this is going to be our banner. I thought of, call of using this banner here and calling us Legio 13, the Kingmakers, but it just, it's too big. It's, it's way too fucking big. So we're going to be the Kingmakers. This is our banner. We're playing on Veteran today. Uh, and we're going to start with our first late game crisis being a war, I think. We can randomize. It's it you, you get them all in succession. Like, you don't have to get just one of them. Map seed is going to be 1, B, 3, A, C, 0. Let's start this shit. Not every contract is worth the risk. Yes, indeedly doodly. That is totally true to me. All right, so this is the tutorial stuff. The last battle, it all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hoggart the Weasel and his band of raiders. You can read this all in detail if you want. I'm not going to voice act everything in this game because there is a shit ton of text, at least as much as there is in Mountain Blade. But basically, this is saying that uh, we, we went to go track this guy down. We got shot in the side with an arrow. The captain had his throat cut, and we are now in command to the end gonna take us into an initial battle. I'm gonna adjust my headset. Hold on. It's gonna take us into an initial battle here where um, we can't lose. The captain takes a swing for once. Ooh, interesting. So this is the guy we're here to kill, I think. Yep. Yeah. Hoggart the Weasel acts in one turn. He hasn't started running yet. I guess he ro rolled low initiative this time. You can I don't think you can... You, no, you absolutely cannot lose a person in this battle, and you cannot lose this battle. You're guaranteed to vin it. Uh, it is not scripted totally. 58%, 52%, let's take the upfront shot. Ooh, nice hit. So what we did there, we selected shoot bolt, because we have a crossbow, we shoot a bolt. Crossbows have the benefit of having plus 15% aim. You can see it down there with the little um, um, arrow butt targeter thing, has plus 15% chance to hit, and minus 3% per tile of distance. So it loses as you get further away from them. But they have an extra chance to hit that bows don't have. Um, costs 2 AP and 5 fatigue to shoot. This is your AP right here. You start with 9 in each action. And uh, it costs 2 to shoot it, so we use 2. Uh, 5 fatigue, so there's our fatigue meter. As the fatigue fills up, you lose your position in the initiative. So you roll initiative and you all get positioned here. Uh, your turn order based on initiative. But... Um, as your fatigue grows up, you sort of have a reduction in initiative in a sense, so you lose your position. But in theory, everybody acts and has the same thing happen to them, right? Uh, also, when you fill up in fatigue, you can't really act anymore. You have to sort of rest a bit. So you, you end up being able to do multiple things in one action, in one turn for a while, to being able to not do shit in a turn for a while. Our other action is to reload. We need to reload a crossbow every time we shoot it. Unfortunately, this means that the crossbow is a one shot per turn weapon with plus 15% aim, similar to taking aim shots with the bow in a sense. Uh, the bow lets you shoot twice per turn, but uh, has none of that cool aimness. So let's reload and get ready to act. He's gonna run away because that's what he does. He chickens out and runs away. He's the storyline person. Uh, we have Ulf here with a two-handed axe. Unfortunately, this is a lumberjack axe, and a lumberjack axe does not gain the benefit of uh, two tiles of reach like a long axe does, so we have to be adjacent to our target. 
Ask him a question, please. Good job, sir. Okay, Jost. With our spear and our shield. Spears have the thrust ability. Thrust has plus 20% chance to hit. So spears can really make up for poor melee skill people. Uh, you have the action points to check this person who has a dagger. Wow, you took a big hit there, and he's got a dagger. I, I, I moved you up because he has a dagger, and that's all he has, but... Okay, I'm going to move you into here because I want you to be right next to him. Because I moved, that means I lose the ability to reload this turn. But that's okay, we're still going to shoot him. We have the action points for it, 61%. If I shot from over here, I would have had a chance of hitting my own guy. Because I'm literally two tiles away, I, I, miss, I, I, don't, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> nice! Okay, did we get some loot for that? Like, we killed them pretty quickly. Hopefully we got some loot. Loot would be fantastic. Uh, so Joss took a little bit of a wound, no big deal. Yeah, we got a dagger and a bludgeon. It would be nice to get a shield, but I mean, they didn't have shields, so... I mean, that's as good as we could hope for, right? A dagger and a bludgeon. You're alive. You won. What now, Captain? Bernard's dead. They slit his throat. He was a good man and a damn good leader, but it all took was one mistake. That makes you the one in charge now, don't it? Uh, I would argue that he probably was not a particularly good leader if he led the company into that fiasco. Although... I'm one to talk because I'm probably going to turn around and lead the company into exactly what he led them into. Uh, save the ceremony and anointments for another day. Let's move. You don't want Ewald the dog in charge, right? <laughs> His name is Ewald the dog. Let's take a look at our peeps. You can rename people in this game, but we're not going to to begin with. Maybe someday we will. We have Jost. These three initial people, their background is companion. As far as I know, they're the only companions you get in the game which is cool. So we want to keep them alive for reasons. He's gluttonous. Better bring extra provisions. Oh, you piece of shit, Jost. Oh. You asshole. He's a pessimist. Wow. You are just a piece of shit, aren't you? And you're currently dissatisfied because, I mean, we just lost, like, an entire company. I think we had 12 people, and we're down to three. Well, four, if you count us. Um... On the bright side, you do have a wooden shield and a spear, so that's cool. You're our frontline soldier. You have 57 and 38, so 57 melee skill is adequate. Um, you have some decent defenses, 25 and 20, as you always do. It's basically scripted. I mean, the exact numbers are not, but it's basically scripted. You have a star in morale, so we will gain morale a little bit quicker, or resolve, I should say. But we're probably not going to be doing much with that. This is the guy that I really care about. Oh my god! 60 melee skill, 41 archery as well is not bad to start with, but 60 melee skill with two stars. His defense is a little low, but that's okay because we're moving him to the back line where he's not going to need defense as much. Um, but we need to get him a uh, witch mafuck at first. We need to get him a pole arm, so like a, a pitchfork or something, and then we'll move him to the back line. And 44 resolve. Honestly, I think we're going to make you our sergeant. 64 hit points as well. That's That's huge for Colossus. Yeah. Oh god, that's really good. And our Archie Arch has almost 50 bow. Not bad. 49 with 2 passion in it. 4 in there. Oh, huge initiative. Yeah, you've got decent initiative considering you're wearing armor already, but you have huge initiative. Looks like you're definitely getting dodge. You're a Spartan. You are strong. Extra fatigue as well. Holy crap, yeah, you've got fatigue. What's yours? You're optimist so we have an optimist and a pessimist <laughs> and you have better morale checks which is good because you know let's get you that two-hander yeah let's get you a pole arm definitely you got a two-handed axe but i want you to have a pole arm so stockendorf is our initial city we've got this really weird little uh flag for our initial place tower of a home we've got uh digrafen we have weisenfels Kallenberg and Horn way up here so Horn you look like you're off on your own established village Torvaholm is a stone keep so we're not going to get any contracts there Stockendorf is a village small settlement yeah is Dragafen a city yes Dragafen is a city so that's where we're going to be sent as part of the initial quest for sure and Weissenfels small buildings so yeah we can go there for contracts Erlach 
settlement. Yep. And then we've got things like Sandorf, Suchans, Brookval, Grafeneid, and Niveland here. Okay, interesting. Not the best world I have ever seen, but it'll definitely, uh, definitely do for us because, you know, it's the world we live in. So let's head to Stockendorf and turn this kist in. It takes, it always takes a while for that initial unpause before the guy actually starts moving. Weird. Anyway, Stockendorf. We killed the men, but the weasel eluded our blades in the end. You know, Hoggart got away. We did half the job. I expect to be paid for this. Yes! The stupid asshole. Hollenstein the Burgermeister. He is going to pay us for doing half the job. And then he's going to pay us again for doing the other half of the job. It's fantastic. I don't know why, but cool. He even looks angry. Look at that. Um, yeah, so we have unfinished business with Hoggart. We are going to do this little tutorial quest thing against Hoggart. He, it can be a pretty difficult fight sometimes. So we'll see how it goes. Excellent, my little birds, blah, 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 blah. That is what we shall do. Okay, so we need three more dudes in order to continue with this quest. We have to have a company of six in order to proceed. And we currently have a company of three. The marketplace, what are they? Oh my God, that's expensive. 158 for an 89% spear. That is balls expensive. Although in the city, it's probably gonna be even more expensive. Shit. Heat bricks. Worth 100. We can get them for 98. That's not bad. Maybe we should just go trading instead. <laughs> yeah, we want this pitchfork. Well, we want a pitchfork. They have one here for 118, but it's at 80%. We want a bow as well, but we need arrows for that. So they've got really shitty gear here, is what it amounts to. And it's really expensive for the starting town. Um, let's see what they have for dudes. Any, like, beggars and stuff? So they've got Egon the Peddler. Yeah, no, we don't want a peddler right now. Although, you know, could be useful. Bjarn the beggar. Actually, Bjarn the liar, but I think we want him. We've got Raymond the poacher. Comes with a bow. Oh, do we want to drop the mad dosh for a poacher right now? I don't know. <coughs> That's a lot of money, but it would be cool to get ourselves another bowman. And we've got Jost the day tailor. So we know what they have here. It's not really going to change. We need to go to visit Torvahol. Wow, I thought they were going to send us to uh, Dregrafen, but they're actually going to send us to Torvahol, which is a stone keep. It's not a city. I've never been sent to a keep initially. It's always been to the nearby city. But we're going to go to the keep. We'll see. Maybe we can get some weapons for a good price at the keep. Let's move. <laughs> never been here before. Basically, it's just my guys saying that they want to get drunk and whore it up in town because they're mercenaries. Although, actually, no. One of them does not want to do that. One of them is all business. Okay, so, we don't have access to contracts and keeps yet. Uh, armorer, weaponsmith, tavern, we can't afford to go to any of those yet. We're going to go to the hiring area. We have Albrick the Courier, who is a messenger. We probably want you. We have Mainrad, who is what? A grave digger. They're used to physical labor and handling the dead, so they probably have good resolve and shit. That's a little expansivo. Let's take a quick peek at the gear here. Okay. Wow. Yeah, no, gear here is is definitely not worse price than it was back there. Um, it, it's about... It's close to the same, it looks like. But we could get Hounds. We could get Hide the War Dog. Wolf the War Dog. We can get Bows. We can get Arrows. I love Keeps. What we are going to end up getting is a Pitchfork. And a Wood Shield. And probably those Bucklers, because I, honestly, I need Shields. My dudes just need Shields. I'm tempted to buy armor, too. Like, I've never bought armor before starting this game. I've always just looted what I get. But I am so tempted to actually just try buying armor. Like, spending our money. Usually I never spend much of the starting cash. Just teeny little bits of it. And I'm tempted to actually just go hog wild on it this time. Because think of it this way. Your dudes don't... You don't pay them more if they have better gear. You pay them more based on their level and their skills and all that kind of stuff. 
So if I gear them out really well and I protect them, and then I just slowly build the company. I need to get to six people, for fuck's sake. Let's, let's get to six people first. So we are going to want, what do we want? We want, oh god, these spears are so expensive here too, actually, now that I look at it. 200 cash bucks for a spear, seriously. We want a pitchfork. I would have considered a pike if they had one for a good price, but they didn't. We're gonna want a shield. I have a dagger tech. I've got a bludgeon. Okay, that's that's one person's gear right there. The pitchfork replaces the axe. The axe. You go in the back row. The pitchfork replaces your axe. I don't want to have to use this axe because I can't use a shield with it. I've got the bludgeon and this for one dude. I don't want to have to bring the axe along. So then I need two more dudes worth of gear. What do I give these two dudes for gear? If we can get the boar spear. <laughs> Actually a bill hook for 1500. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's worth 1400 so it's a little bit overpriced but that's okie dokie. They didn't have a wooden shield back there, so I guess we buy the bucklers. I don't want to give a person a dagger. A dagger is a piece of shit. I don't want to use tools up on... Fuck it. We're going to buy a regular spear. We'll buy the other spear back at the other town. Okay, let's recruit. What are we going to recruit from here? I want... Yeah, okay, I'll get the grave digger. We're not going to hire a deserter. Interesting. Alfgare deserter. Militia, yeah, okay. We're not doing the militia. We'll get the courier. I don't want the deserter. We'll hire one more back at the other town. So my question here is, do I want to get gear then? Because I could get me some armor here. This is, this is, this is tempting. I never do this. I never buy armor. I always wait until we get it off of bandits. Let's give it a try. If we crash and burn, we crash and burn, right? Yeah, let, let's just, let's just get ourselves some, uh, some armor. I, I'm not going to get hats yet, though. Okay, let's leave, and we will head back to Stockendorf. I bought weapons. Oh, right. They want me to recruit everybody there. No, we're not going to recruit everybody there. We're going to go back to Stockendorf, and we're going to recruit the last person here. I'm spending way more money than I ever do. Like, I usually stay around that 2,000 mark when I play on veteran, at least, uh, very early on. But let's 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 see how this goes. This is this is a little bit new for me. So we're gonna hire the beggar. I haven't even looked at the stats of these guys yet. I am really tempted to get one of these poachers. Maybe that'll be one of my next hires if they're still here and I get some money for it. But uh, for now, that's what we're gonna do. Let's equip our people and then see what I need. So, uh, Jost, you are going to get this. That's for damn sure. We're gonna give our frontline people the really good armor. So this is Bjarn the liar. He is the beggar. 50 and 41 and really good initiative wow okay so you're you're kind of cool we keep above 70 um fatigue here so you're kind of cool what do you have 52 42 you might make an archer but maybe not a very good one 109 initiative wow your fatigue is also through the roof but you're not wearing a lot yet and you don't have a weapon so that could account for that and 5042, you might make a really good archer. Mainrad, you are our grave digger. Initiative, not so great. Fatigue is okay. Yeah, and you do have 41 resolve. I was expecting you to have extra points in it, though. Okay, so these guys aren't bad. They all have over 50 melee skill, too, which is amazeballs. So who do we want to protect the most? Probably you two. Okay, well then, you two, congratulations on your padded leather. And I think we might do something like this. 
And then, how are we gonna lay you guys out? We want spears. You've actually got some aim, so, you know, that's a thing. You've got a club. I've got a bludgeon, which is gonna be better than a club, right? 15 to 25, 20 to 35, 40 and 75 on armor, 40 and 50 on armor. Yeah, it's better. Max fatigue is higher, but that's okie dokie. I think we're going to give that to you for now, sir, because I want the outsides to have spears so that I can effectively spear wall. Also, shields. We need shields for all of you brothers, because we're probably going to face a poacher, and I really want shields. Uh, so your armor is what is 30, this is 55, so let's give that to use. You're wearing a 50 armor here, so everybody in the front row is better than that. You have a 35 armor, that's a 30, so you're better already. Okay, everybody's armored, and most everybody has hats as well. I'm amazed. Only Evald the dog does not have a hat. And he can actually take these bandages as well. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, okay, so what do I need? I need a spear. I can't have a first spear centurion without a spear. 89. Okay, let's do it. And yeah, just bucklers, no wooden shields. There's a bow here for cheap because it's damaged and some arrows. I honestly would much rather have a bowman than a crossbowman. I'm going to keep him with the crossbow for now. Okay. That's our gear. That's our people. We're down to 615 cash bucks. That's still plenty of money. I have good news. I found him. Where is he? Uh, he is in a small hut to the south of here. Excellent. I will return with his head. Okay, so Hoggart's Refuge is down here behind the mountains. The downside of this is because it's mountains, there might be hills. Because there's hills, they might have the high ground. I really hate the high ground on anything high, like that, that has any like idea of difficulty at all. On the bright side, we're probably going to be fighting at night, by the looks of it. And I bet he has a poacher with him. Let's get in there. Come on. Come on. Speed 2. We're in the tutorial still. Speed 2. Okay, we'll go to speed 1 now. Unknown garrison. Unknown garrison. Yeah, they have one poacher and a bunch of thugs, so no raiders. That poacher is going to be a pain, though. This is why we brought the uh, bucklers, by the way. The bucklers and the wooden shields for dealing with that a poacher. Uh, we are going to need to move you back up on the high ground. On the bright side, we don't really have any low ground here. Yeah, we're, we're okay. We could probably stay here. I think we could probably stay here. Let's just take a peek. That's height one, height zero. Yeah, so there's... If you see that little yellow box next to grassland, that's the height of it. This is height one. If we mouse up over here, this is height three. This is height two. So this is height one. This is height zero. So there's only a one difference between them. We can attack there. We'll just have a penalty. But... Uh, our guys here will all be on this area. I mean, we could move forward one. Okay, we'll move forward one. Just one. Uh, you are going to move up to here. Yeah, that makes sense. I was expecting that too. That is Hoggart right there. He's got a falchion and a buckler. He's basically a raider tier. I kind of want to have you here if we're going to move up one so that you can hit from the high ground. You'd only be lowering yourself by one time. Well, you know what? They're going to be on the low ground, so no. We'll move into here. It's fine. It'll be okie dokie. Uh, you, sir. Mine did, did I not give you a weapon? Did I buy you a weapon and then not give you it? Wow, I feel super duper stupor at the moment. Oh shit. That 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 could be a game breaker right there, guys. That's height 2. But we can spear wall to protect it. So the spear wall ability if they move into our zone of control, anything around us, we will hit them and knock them back. If soon as we miss an attack though, it will break the spear wall. 
Yeah, we, we are in trouble. Because you're not here. I don't have a spear wall on the southern flank. I, I was expecting to have a spear wall down there, and now we don't. And their archer is on high ground, which is really annoying. So let's move you up to here. Can you hit him? You can't hit him. You have range to hit him. 22% take the sh... Uh, looked good, but you missed. Because we move, though, we can't reload. He's going to shoot us as soon as he has the chance to. Honestly, you have to move up here now. Fuck, that really, really messed us up bad. Like, all you are, basically, is a shield now. Damn it. Damn it all. That was a mistake. Crossbow. Reload. 22. Ooh, good hit. Good hit. I, I kind of want to rush to engage this guy, because he's going to have such a good shot at us, but I kind of don't want to as well. Not having a spear wall here really sucks. We're just going to have to let him come. He's going to lose extra points by moving down from the high ground, so he's not going to be able to attack us, most likely. He shoots an aimed shot and misses. That's still going to be a spear wall for you. He can flank us. That sucks. But I kind of fucked the bed, shit the bed, pissed the fuck. I don't know. We, we fucked up when we did that. Uh, he can get to us. But if he moves into here, we'll spear wall him. You are really... I mean, you can shield knock back, I guess. Come on. Oh, right. My my action, not their action. Uh, he is posturing because, you know, reasons. Okay, next turn, yo. We're going to reload, and we're going to take a look at our shots. 5%, he's out of range. We have 45 there and 35 here. Let's go for the 45 and miss it horribly because, you know, reasons. God, if we had this spear wall here, we'd be in such a good shape in the south. But as it stands, we're in such a shitty shape in the south. He's going to spear wall. Intriguing. Okay, well, I'm not pursuing your spear wall. I can't spear wall again. Our fatigue is just too high now. Wow, this battle is going nowhere fast. I mean, I've hit once with my bow, but he can hit us with his bow just like that. I rush him if his spear wall goes down, right? Yeah, I rush him when his spear wall goes down, I think. For fuck's sake, this would have been totally different if I had a spear on you. You don't have range on anything now. Nope. Which means if I want to shoot, I'm going to have to move you. Well, I guess, no, you do have range on this thug. Let's shoot him. Oh, good hit. That takes his spear wall. Okay, it's back. <laughs> yeah, he, his spear wall went down because his turn ended there, but he put it back up. Okay, so we are going to rush him. And the way we're going to rush him, we are going to put up our shield wall. Yeah, we're going to put up shield wall. And we're going to move forward. And then move forward again. We can't move forward again. Shit. That was a bad move. I moved into the wrong spot with that. Shield wall. Okay, there we go. He hits us with his spear, but our shield wall held it. So we didn't get knocked back by the spear wall. I can't act again, though. So we got our people up in a position. But unfortunately... Oh, he's wavering now. That's good. Let's hit him. Hit him very hard. No. Okay, you move up and you still have enough actions to hit him at 75%. Good kill, sir. I guess all you're going to do is protect our archer. And in all honesty, we're going to move up to here. Ah, fuck. Don't shoot my crossbow. It's nighttime. That's, that's why we wanted to attack at night, because it makes bows a little bit weaker. You only have two action points left this turn. Two. Okay, new turn. He stays put, and we get to move. Okay. So we know their archer is up here. We can go in to pin him, but I don't know where anybody else is. If I start moving north uh, or up, then the archer won't be able to shoot me anymore. So that's what our goal here is going to be. You should reload, and then let's see. Do you have shots? You don't. You're going to move to, I guess, down here. No, because you have to move down a level to do that. So you're not going to move, and you're going to be vulnerable to an attack. Maybe I should move you back, Minerad. 
Yeah, we're going to keep you here because you block for him. If he doesn't have a shield, you do, even if it is just a shitty buckler. You're no good for anything else for us right now, so that's what you're going to do. He's going to aim shot and aimed miss. Good. Good. This pleases me. Um, you technically have enough fatigue for shield wall, but if I move here, that's all your action points. If I move here, that's all your action points. I can't get you in and shield wall you, and I don't know what the situation is up higher because I can't see it. We can raise elevation, but uh, we can't see who's there. I guess we can't because we're at the top already, but we can't actually see who's up there. We know the big bad is up there somewhere, though, so we need to be cautious. Let's go this way. Okay, there's the big bad, so we're okay. We don't want to expose ourselves to him if we can avoid it. Let's uh, zock him. Zone of control him. Double. I mean, oh, that's what I didn't want to happen. Is he going to move in too? I don't fucking know. We'll find out. We'll start moving up into position. There are four enemies left. I can only see three of them. Okay, so you're shot, you have no shot. Let's move right. You still don't have action points either because it's the same turn. Um, I move you here, you won't have the actions to do anything, but you'll be able to potentially act on the next turn. This, I'm, I'm worried for Bjarn the Liar's sake. He, he has taken some wounds. Uh, we really need him to not freaking die right now. Okay, so he moves, he postures, he shield walls, he's not a factor right now. Okay, he reveals himself. Very good. That means we can shoot him too, which is excellent. I really need to deal with this guy on the high ground. I also need to check him, but I don't need to check him yet. Checking him doesn't matter, and actually it gets me closer to the archer, who is a big deal. I think maybe we hold your turn then you're going to act, and you're going to just fucking hit him really hard, I hope. And hopefully that will kill him. 65! Kill! Yes, okay, so he doesn't get to act now, because he would have been the next to act. So that means you are the next to act, and you need to just stay here and protect our crossbow. Our crossbow is going to shoot the thug at 32%, and hit! And then reload, because you can. Um, you are still fine, Jost. So I got two people here who are just peachy and one person who's wounded and probably wants to fall back a little bit. Uh, I've got two pieces of ground that I can fight him from. So let's go here. Oh, shit. We didn't get up to high ground because we got checked here first. Fuck me. Okay, no, you're going to shield wall then. I don't like shield walling, but I've got to do it in this situation. I'm going to move you up to the high ground and hold you here because you're wounded. You're going to have to come in here and try and stun. You got the stun. Oh, good. We didn't need the shield wall after all then. What are you going to do is the question. I'm going to I'm going to have to trust him to you two without any support, and I'm going to have you pull back. You've only got enough to to move one right now. I'm going to have you move down to here. And you just protect that archer with your life, sir, since you have no fucking weapon. Because I'm a idiot. You've got a lot of movement still. But you're also full fatigue. Wow, you've got really weak fatigue right now. Oh, because you're injured. That's why. You're wounded. That makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Oh, miss. Oh, thank goodness. He moves up. He moved up really far, though. He's not going to be able to hit us. No. Um, you, sir, won't be able to attack from there. Can you attack from here? No, that's too far, right? That's one, that's two. Yeah, that would be too far. You can't attack from there. Moving here also puts you in range of the bow, which sucks. Yeah, just double checking. I was pretty sure that was not the case. Um, I think the bow will be blocked if we move down to here. 
and he is in his zone of control, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're just gonna have to go down here. Uh, you are going to need to kill this clown, please. We totally fucking missed him. Hit and kill. Okay, a hit is good. It's not a kill. It's not a kill, but it, it's a start. Um, your turn, I'm gonna hold. Okay. Uh, no, you're in his zone of control. You can't. You have to just swing. You're at fatigue, though. Shit. Okay. Um, oh, man. He's he's near death. What's your chance of hitting him? 36. Punch him to death. Oh, my God, no. Armagerd, no. Okay, so he's in your zone of control, and you've got a shield. I mean, you, you, you're probably not going to die. You might die, but you're probably not. I'm going to have you move around, and we're going to move in position to flank him again. Because uh, I need another body on him as soon as I can. Uh, I'm really worried for Jostier. He's in the low ground against the guy with a falchion. Okay, you've got two more swings, and then you can swing. And then falchion goes. Shit. Punch him to death! Damn it. Spear him to death! Excellent. Okay, good. He reposts any shield walls. Okay. Oh no! That was bad. Okay, he's reposting. That means we probably want to shield bash him back. Fuck. Shield bash will take him out of repost. Why can't we shield wall? We have a oh, because we don't have a small shield, we've got a buckler. Okay. Um 22% to stun, 22% there, 47. Oh, fuck. Okay, we can't hit with you. We need you to back out away from the archer's range. He is really tough right now because he's got repost on, so we are going to shield... Well, fuck, I don't have the fatigue to move now! If I shield wall you, you won't have the fatigue to move either. Like, we are in a bad, bad, bad way over here. We're going to do it, though. I need to get you over as far as we can, because we are going to need your help against this guy. Who's acting? You're acting. You don't have the fatigue to go down, right. And you are already done. The archer! No, I'm going to get moves before the archer does. So you were wavering from the beginning because you have no weapon. Move here and just protect our archer. That's your job, sir. That is your job. We can get to here. Not this turn, but we can get to here, and from here... Oh, that's in range. That sucks. That sucks a lot. From here, we can hit him, and then we'll see if the archer wants to run away. I don't need to kill that archer. It is not desperate that I kill that archer. Shield walls, and he swings. He does not repost this time. Okay. So I don't have the fatigue to do much of anything, but I can move in and take one swing at him, and it's a good hit. And you can take a swing at him, too, and accomplish nothing. And you can take a swing at him, and... Okay, nope, he, he has a ripped ear, and he is wavering, so that's, that's a start. Unfortunately, it is not a kill. You're not moving anywhere. You have no fatigue. Okay. No fatigue. No fatigue. I'm worried about the archer, but we'll see what the archer does in a moment. Let's move up here and just continue to protect our archer. You get to move here, and you have the fatigue to attack. Kill! Not a kill, but a good hit. Oh, man, we took a hit again. Shit. We can shoot, but you see, we're being blocked, so that's kind of bad. Let's move upstairs. We can shoot from here. We're still being blocked. 5% chance to hit. No thanks. We're just going to recover a bit of fatigue. Hit! Yes! Okay, now is that guy going to run away like a little girl, or is he going to come at us? Because I don't have the fatigue to deal with him. Jost has a little bit of fatigue because he hasn't been doing a lot, but uh, it's not good. We could go here and it would max us out, for example. Yeah, let's go here. Let's see what he does. You are a little bit wounded, sir. I kind of want you to move back. 
But the problem is everybody else is a little bit wounded as well. Joss is the only guy who'd be participating in this if it weren't for you. So I really need you to get up there and find out what this guy is going to do. What's this clown up to? You know what? You have fatigue to burn because all you've been doing is punching people. Let's get you in there as fodder. <laughs> Why not? Our archer took a hit there. Let's move him. Oh, right. No fatigue, no action points. 22 HP on Bjarn, you're gonna stay put on the higher ground because you can. Yeah, get your butt in there. Let's try and find this guy. He might have moved, he might not have moved. He might be up there, I just can't see him because he hasn't acted yet. Get in here behind cover from these two guys with shields. You can still be hit, but it's much lower. And you should have cover from this position behind him with shields if he's still up here. So that should be fine. You're going to stay here. I don't have the fatigue for this, but I really need to just pin him in place. He's going to have a crossbow out. Okay, the enemy might be running. They might be running, or I might be crazy. Unfortunately, I moved the guy who was protecting the archer right after saying that, you know, you'll protect the archer. Uh, you stay here. And you stay here. Yes, it is over. I'm not going to run this guy down. So, oof, got to level up. We didn't lose anybody. We did get a couple of big injuries. We got a pierced arm muscle, three to four days, melee skill, range skill. That's kind of shitty on Bjarn. And max fatigue, pierced side reduction. That sucks as well on Evil the dog. That's why we were at max fatigue on him the whole time. We need fatigue. Holy crap. Do we ever need fatigue? Uh, the loot! What did we get for the loot? We got his falchion, a butcher's cleaver, a wooden shield, and an akaton cap, which is nice. We got a few arrows, uh, some tools, some gold, some beer. Cool. Nine days and one day. We're probably just going to sell that beer. And we got an amber shard. That's worth good money. We might be able to get like 300 gold for it. Alright, not too shabby. For the company, all the men who have fallen. Let's wrap this up. We need to go get paid, and that is where Weissenfalls. Where, where? No, 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 no. It's uh, Stockendorf, right? Where's Stockendorf to the north? Yes. I'm not crazy. This is going to be a uh, nice long video to get us started. I was expecting it to be about a half hour to take care of all this stuff, but wow, that mission took a little bit longer. Evolve the dog joins our side. Got a moment, Cap'n? The battle is less than gear worse for... Oh, he's telling us that we need tools to repair gear. We have tools. We happen to have 20, and we're going to need four of them to repair gear. So we're in okay shape. Yeah, so as you move around, your gear takes damage in battle. And as you move around, you can use tools to repair it. We gained 400 crowns, and we're back up above 1,000. You know, we bought some gear, and it might have saved our lives. Oh shit, terrified villagers means it's going to be either wolves or the other things that we're going to have to deal with, and that's probably going to be a few dead soldiers if we go after that. That's going to be what this contract is to deal with most likely. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to this first video of Battle Brothers. I'll see you again next time.